is made up of matter. Matter is anything that has mass and occupies space. It comes in different forms like solids, liquids, gases, plasma, etc. What are the building blocks of matter that make up the world around us? And what is the smallest thing in the universe? If we take the example of these ice cubes, they are made up of water molecules. Two hydrogen atoms and an oxygen atom join to make each water molecule. If we observe the oxygen atom, we can find a nucleus at the center and electrons orbiting the nucleus. This is the Bohr model of an atom that we commonly use to explain the structure of an atom. But now it is known that the exact position of electrons cannot be detected. However, we can show the space where there is the highest probability of electrons to appear. Electrons are one of the fundamental building blocks of the universe and the first elementary particle to be discovered in the standard model. Electrons are bound to the nucleus by electromagnetic force. Photons carry this force. The other electron-like particles are muons and taus, which can be produced in high-energy collisions and are highly unstable. They will rapidly decay and change to electrons, neutrinos, and antineutrinos. The weak force responsible for this decay is carried by W bosons. The nucleus of an atom contains protons and neutrons. Protons and neutrons are made up of quarks. A proton contains two up quarks and one down quark. A neutron is made up of two down quarks and one up quark. The nucleus is held together by strong nuclear force. Elementary particles called gluons carry this force. So basically, any matter is made up of up quarks, down quarks, and electrons. There are other quarks called charm and strange and top and bottom, which can only be produced in high energy collisions. These heavier quarks rapidly decay into lighter up and down quarks. Because of this, stable up and down quarks are common in the universe. The weak force responsible for this decay is carried by W and Z bosons. These elementary particles were observed in particle accelerators. Another fundamental particle that makes up the universe is the neutrino. It is the smallest of all and its size is of a yectometer or 10 raised to minus 24 meters. They exist everywhere in the universe and many of them are passing through our body right now. But their interaction is very weak. They are formed in nuclear reactions within stars, cosmic ray collisions with atoms, and beta decay of atomic nuclei. There are three kinds of neutrinos, which are electron neutrinos, muon neutrinos, and tau neutrinos. Electrons, muons, tau, and neutrinos are together known as leptons. Quarks and leptons together form fermions. All these fermions have antiparticles too. When W and Z bosons interact with the Higgs field, an invisible field that fills the universe, they acquire mass. But particles like photons don't interact with this field and have no mass. The Higgs field has an associated particle called the Higgs boson. Force carrying particles like photons, gluons, W and Z bosons and Higgs bosons together form bosons in the standard model. Higgs boson was produced at the Large Hadron Collider in Geneva, Switzerland in 2012. Like this, we can observe many other particles in particle accelerators. In particle accelerators, particles are accelerated and smashed into each other. There are also other unobserved hypothetical particles like gravitons. Gravitons are assumed to be the mediators of gravitational force. So far, the standard model of elementary particles is incomplete. It lacks an explanation of gravity. Can we find gravitons in particle accelerators just like we did with Higgs bosons? The Large Hadron Collider 
is in quest for solutions to many mysteries like gravity, antimatter, dark matter, etc. Science never ceases to amaze us. So, be curious, and as always, stay tuned for our next video.